All right, what's going on, guys? Um, I'm back again with another video. We're just going to go over the recap of uh, a little bit of the stuff that happened uh, over the last week in the stock market. Um, it's been a good week, really good week for a lot of people. Um, we did a video on Monday. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It's just some Tesla news um, about the upcoming stuff uh, that Tesla has lined up for the next couple of months, um, what they did previous year uh, with their delivering the vehicles, and um, what they have coming up for new vehicles and new uh, endeavors for them. Um, but I'm just going to be uh, reading off some notes right here. Um, so Tesla stock is tr currently trading at 880. Um, if you guys look back at our video on Monday, it was trading at um, it was trading at about 730, 720, 730. Um, so if you invested in them, you'd be up um, about 180 dollars um, for the week. Um, but um, it's never too late to jump on um, Tesla. Um, I think that going forward, they just have so many more opportunities with uh, people dealing with climate change and uh, stuff like that. And more and more states are trying to push uh, more cleaner vehicles. And um, I believe what that's what Tesla's doing. They're starting to push uh, more cheaper and affordable vehicles for more people. Um, and the more people you can uh, uh, sell cars to, the bigger money you're going to get and the bigger companies going to grow. Um, the biggest thing that happened for Tesla is Elon Musk became the richest man in the world this year. Um, actually, a couple days ago, or richest man in the world uh, right now. <laughs> happened a couple of days ago um he passed jeff bezos and uh bill gates a couple of times and um that's just because tesla went up so much um from them delivering vehicles and uh, other stuff like that and um elon's tesla stock was doing really good and um it just went up all of a sudden and he became the richest man in the world that's because he just owns so many companies and uh ceos and stuff like that um he paid he made paypal uh spacex everybody knows of uh, Tesla and a couple other companies that uh, people have definitely heard of. Um, but yeah, Tesla stocks up uh, about 8% today. And um, let me check real quick. It's up about 22% for the week. So that is a lot. I definitely think it's going to come back down and maybe another 10% next week, um, especially since it's Friday. Everybody likes to get their trading in before the weekend. Um, but I definitely think it's going to be uh, going down a little bit, maybe 5, 10% up to and um you can always uh look into stuff like that um another thing if you guys don't know there's something called fractions of shares so you don't have to buy the whole thing you say you want to put a hundred dollars in the teslas if you don't have all 800 which of course most people don't you always just um put a hundred um most apps let you do fractional shares so you'll own uh, 0.2 of a tesla share and stuff like that so you can still make money and still invest in it uh, reoccurring, whether that's every week you want to put a uh, part of your paycheck into something or um, you want to put big lump sums into it, you can always buy fractional shares. And um, you can always use Robinhood. I have a link in the description if you guys want to get started with that. It's easy, uh, super easy to start trading. And um, it's definitely for more of the beginners that uh, don't um, aren't into the stock market and stuff like that. So it's really, really simple. And I can always post a video uh, for you guys if you guys need help uh, working the app and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, let's go on to our next stock. We're just going to talk about NEO. NEO had a really good week as well. Um, the last five days, it's been uh, it's been up and down, but it finished up today. Um, you would currently be up about 15% for you guys this week. Um, it's trading. It's at 58.92. Um, closed the market closed about an hour ago. So, but it's at about almost sixty dollars. Um, I personally am up a lot of money on Neo, so I'm just holding out to see how high it goes. And um, I believe in them. I think uh, it's a Chinese company, on the other hand, um, but it is backed by the government. So um, it's, the government is gonna let, isn't going to let uh, Tesla, which is an American company, take over the whole market in China. And um, I think they're still going to be doing good, but I don't think they're going to be doing as good as Tesla uh, in the coming uh, months and years. Um, but it is a long-term thing that I'm going to hold on to and see how it is in uh, six months, five months, um, maybe even longer than that, maybe a year. Um, other than that, we're just going to look at some other news. Uh, S&P uh, 500 is up, um, so the market overall is up a lot. Uh, it was up about, I forget how much it was, a um, couple percent for the last couple of days. Um, I think it went up about 1% today. Uh, which is in the highest, but I think early in earlier in the week, 
um, especially Tesla going up. Tesla is a big part of the S&P 500 uh, now that it's growing at such a rapid pace. Um, it's definitely boosting the S&P, um, especially when other stocks are taking a dip, whether that's uh, uh, food companies or stuff like that with the Corona going on. But um, they're definitely carrying the S&P right now and keeping it um, even. And then in case you guys haven't known, um, just the overall market is, um, I believe, is going to start going um, a little bit down, but it's going to stay stagnant just um, because uh, the transition um, from presidents right now and um, vaccines rolling out. I don't think anything's really going to take off again until maybe the middle of this year um, towards July or August. But there's uh, always money to be made and always investments to get into. And um, if you're definitely going to get in, I would get in um, soon and uh, make sure you guys stock up some money to um, start getting into those positions that you guys uh, do find. Um, but um, I'm just presenting information to you guys. Uh, I'm not telling you guys go invest $100, $200. It's all up to you guys um, into what stocks you want to buy. I'm just here to give you guys information to better further your knowledge to um put your money in the right places and uh, make sure you guys look into your own research and stuff like that. But um, yeah, Biden has already came out saying he wants to push all of the vaccines to new people and uh, to all the people. Um, there's different, different companies that have different vaccines and stuff like that. And he just wants to get as many people vaccinated and back to work as quickly as possible. And um, that's definitely a good thought to go uh, forward. Of course, there's gonna be people that say, hey, I don't wanna take it. And there's going to be people that say, hey, why not take it? Um, whatever your preference is, um, it's always good to just look at the options. It's better to have options than have no options. So you do have the option to take it or you do have the option to not take it. Um, but yeah, going forward, I think it's going to just um, help the, the economy boost back up. More people are going to be able to go back to work um, and find jobs and start doing like stuff like that. Um, get more back to quote normal and... Um, but yeah, uh, both Pfizer and Moderna are s sending out vaccines. I know the government is um, saying they wanted a certain number of vaccines by the end of the year. They didn't get anywhere close to that. But um, I definitely know that uh, healthcare workers and everybody are working their hardest to get there. And it's going to take a little bit of time. It's definitely not going to be uh, done overnight. But it's definitely not going to be done over a couple of years. We may have to make that ground up uh, economically and stuff like that. But um, getting the vaccines, I think by the middle of uh, the summer with July or August, um, I think stuff is going to start uh, gradually going back to normal and you'll see places open back up, uh, maybe movie theaters, eating inside, stuff like that. I definitely think that stuff's going to open back up. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm going to be making um, a couple more videos uh, on my TikTok in case you guys don't fo uh, follow that. Uh, I'm going to be making more videos on that. Um, just shorter, quicker videos. If I find a headline that I like or I find something else that I like, you guys can definitely go check that out below. And um, always um, always uh, let me know how you guys are feeling and uh, what socks you guys are getting into or if you guys have any questions. Um, always leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'm getting new. I'm definitely getting new, uh, getting used to this. And um, it's still a new thing to me. And I do like making videos for you guys. But um, I definitely do want to hear some criticism, what I'm doing bad, what I'm doing wrong. Um, anything like that is always helpful for me. Um, and other than that, um, I should be posting a couple more videos uh, over the weekend, whether my stocks to look out for for the next coming week and um, information to give you guys on what's going on in the stock market, um, because there's always money to be made. And of course, um, there's I can definitely talk about um, mostly what I've talked about so far is single stock growth stocks. So that's how much money you can make in a short amount, a short amount of time. But there's always stocks to uh, invest in that are going to give you money over time and it's not risky at all. And, um, so those are more, uh, index funds and, uh, EFTs, uh, that are going to be more, uh, big groups of companies that as long as if one fails or one stumbles or trips, uh, you always have all these other companies lifting it back up. So it's not necessarily going to dive as much as one single stock company would do. Um, but other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Um, remember to leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll be out with a couple more videos on my TikTok over the weekend. If not, uh, I will see you guys on Monday um, for my upcoming news for the week. See you guys. Peace.